So we are going to be heading to a Yankee Marlin game. So if you ever wonder what it's like to go to a Yankee game here in South Florida, stay tuned. And as you can see, it's a typical South Florida day where it is raining. There are some part in the clouds over there where it looks like it's getting a little sunny. But in case you didn't know, Marlin Stadium is an enclosed stadium. They did install a retractable roof uh, a couple years ago. I'm not sure what year. I'd have to <clears throat> look that up. But um, they did that obviously because it gets so hot here in South Florida and of course because of the rain. So nothing to worry about. We will be nice and cool and dry while we watch the Yankees beat the Marlins. What do you have to say about that? Uh, we'll see what happens. Remember what happened at 03. So. Alright, we're deleting that. So only a few minutes have passed and it's pretty much getting sunny again. You can see the park in the distance. There it is. As we make our way to the stadium, you can see that they're already advertising for different prices. $30 over there. Um, I think that one over there says $10. I'm not sure. 40 so 40 Yeah, 30 over here. Okay, so yeah, if you want to get closer, it's 40 over there. Um, I'm not sure how much it is at the actual stadium, but we're going to be parking at the stadium. This one over here is 40 Start hitting a little bit of traffic as we get closer to the stadium. Well, it's parking pays you park it, you just pay apparently on Apple. So parking at the stadium, it is a pay by plate parking. Probably have to download the pay by phone app um, so that you can pay on your cell phone. A couple of pointers, you will need to know the location number and I think you're gonna need to know your plate number as well. All right, so we just parked and are gonna make our way over to the entrance. And there's not much of a line right now, thankfully. Uh, we're gonna be coming up to security pretty soon, go through the metal detectors. Once we pass the security check area, we make our way over to the ticket agent and they basically scan our ticket, direct us to the escalator that we can take to go up into the concourse area. They have some really cool artwork here. Um, and oh my goodness, <laughs> walking into this room right here is the best. You can totally feel the blast of cold air. There is our welcome sign basically welcoming us, welcoming us to the Miami Marlins Stadium. Of course, I was there to support the Yankees as well as a lot of other people. You can actually see there is a ton of people wearing Yankee gear. Um, I did kind of walk down just to kind of get a view. Here's a view actually of the closed roof so that you can see that um, if it rains or anything like that, we are completely covered. Next up is going to be actually a couple of options for eating. There was that baseball place, this pincho place. Um, I tried zooming in so you can kind of see what they have, but it's a little hard. Uh, Suviche, Novecento, Hagendas, and Edis. Um, this place called Hot Corner. They have beer, wine, cocktails. I actually didn't get to try any of the food, but you know, that's for another day. Here we went into the merch store. Of course, I was not trying to get any of this for 150 bucks. That Miami jersey stayed where it was. The shirt was kind of cool because, you know, it does seem like it was dry fit. But again, not my style. Also, not my team. So it went back to the rack just where I found it. Kind of see the price there a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we kept walking around. They had Sunday Fun Day face painting for the kids. That was kind of cool. So if you have um somebody that you want to bring with you to these games you can have them paint their kid the kids faces here's more food options arepa here's a view actually of the miami skyline we definitely want to check out this place the happy hour at jr's bar um it's a little hidden we actually kind of walked around trying to find it and then finally we figured oh it's down this hall to the right there was a long line and uh the bartender actually was like take two drinks with you because it's half price and that way you don't gotta make the line again so that's what we did and then immediately next to that is this world of world series i guess kind of like museum which i'll show you that in a little bit but right now i just wanted to capture this memorabilia stuff that they had this was actually at the bar section and here's the bartender making the drinks for us Another cool thing we got to see is the gym that we go to, Orange Theory. They actually had some members and coaches walking the field. I guess they had done like a workout right before, so that was actually kind of cool seeing some familiar faces. We did talk to some of them off camera, which was pretty cool. Um, and then also immediately after meeting up with them, we saw that they were filming this sports show. And 
they actually had one of the Marlins. I guess he's a retired Marlins player. I'm not even sure because, again, I don't follow the Marlins. But um, they had him kind of come over and uh, they set him up and it was something that was getting ready to go live basically for TV soon. Quick shot of some more food. Miami's best pizza at the park. Totally probably not true for any other place. Um, here's that Marlins player I was telling you about. He is getting set up, I guess, mic'd up. And here's a shot of us basically showing, hey, look, we're here. We're kind of front row seat to this sports show that they're about to go live. So yeah, after they went live, we just kind of stood around for a couple minutes just to check them out. We really couldn't hear what they were saying. So there's a TV where they were basically broadcasting and that's where they were. Anyways, at this point we said, let's go check out and see what else there is in the concourse area. And like I said, there's a ton of food options. Here's another food place. Um, obviously, you can tell it's getting a little busier. Here's the Goya La Cocina. Here's Queso Grande, Quesadillas. Here's um, another place that has, I guess, hot dogs, peanuts, nachos. But yeah, it's definitely getting busier. Um, this was another area, Billy's Boathouse, where it looks like it was a kid's play area. So it was pretty interesting to see that they had a lot of options for kids that were, you know, more than just attending the game. If you're in the mood for desserts, here's a sweets place. Great photo op right there. Greetings for greetings from Miami. I actually took a photo there as well. Here's more on uh, the kids' activities that they have. Basically, they make the line for this Billy's Home Run Derby. I'm sure it's tons of fun for kids of all ages. Uh, here was another section that looks like it was a production team, also broadcasting probably something. Here's this big bar. Uh, we didn't get any drinks from there, but I did see people walking around with this like really long, actually you can see it here in the video, long uh, beer. It looks like this looks like a baseball bat. Now up for that uh, museum type thing I was telling you about where they taught they have all this Marlins memorabilia. Actually Pitbull. I guess it's Miami memorabilia too. Again, I'm not a Marlins fan, so <laughs> forgive me for not knowing what all this stuff is. Yeah, this one hurt. The champ World Series champions. Womp, womp. Don't like seeing that. There's definitely a lot to see. It's a self-guided walking tour. There um, basically was a lot of people in front of us, a lot of people behind us, and, you know, stopping to take pictures and videos, kind of like what I'm doing. So I just did a quick, you know, run through of... All of these things here that you see in case you're a Yankee, I'm sorry, not a Yankee fan, <laughs> in case you're a Marlins fan, um, which hopefully you're not, but what are we going to do? Yeah, I get it. I live in the South Florida, Miami area. Why am I still a Yankee fan? Well, truth be told, um, outside of soccer, baseball was probably the next sport I kind of got into, and it was because... Yankees would make it to the World Series and so I was very interested in you know the games and I think one of those years was when they played against the Marlins which is why that one hurt because they had lost to the Marlins but either either way which actually actually I'm not sure if I caught that on video but coming up you could see the championship uh, trophy and my husband went to go take a photo with it which I'm like traitor and there was another guy there that was a Yankee fan and he was trying to take a photo with it. And I was like, what are you doing? Don't do that. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for the museum. Now we're going to head up to our seats. Up to the 300 level we go. All of, everything you saw here was basically the 100 level. Sitting up in the 300 level was actually not too bad. You can get some decent priced seats up here. Um, since we're going to be up in the 300 level, I figured let's check out and see what kind of um, items and views they have up here in this concourse. So up next, you'll see some more uh, fast food, I guess, options. Burger 305. There's actually not that many people up here, so I guess it's a good spot if you want to come get some food, maybe um, to avoid some of the lines that are down in the 100 level. Here's the line of people that are trying to get in. So basically get here early so you can try to avoid the long lines here's some shots of the game this is our view from the 300 level 
pretty decent, you know, area. It wasn't too, too bad. Don't ask me what the score was at this point. We were just having a good time watching the game. And I mean, I know for the majority of the time, the Yankees were winning. So I was definitely in a good mood. This was kind of funny, awkward dad dance camp. I think I just kind of let this one run because um, I thought it was kind of funny. And you know, it's a few seconds of basically seeing these older guys dance awkwardly. So enjoy. I think it's funny how they all pretty much have the same signature move. Arms up in the air, bouncing around, see, swaying around. <laughs> that is an awkward tad dance for sure. Anyway, back to the game. This was a cool shot here. He tried stealing the base and the pitcher caught him, but eventually, I think I got this on camera, he winds up stealing the base and he is safe. Eventually, I want to say that helped get the Yankees a couple home runs, but spoiler alert, it didn't matter. being up at this point i said let's just you know go visit some of our friends that are sitting in the lower level here's another shot of the miami skyline on our way down walking down the ramp from the 300 level we were able to get a couple seats next to my friends that were sitting in the 100 level so here's the view of those seats Remember earlier I had told you that there were some Yankee fans? Well, now we were sitting amongst them. This was perfect timing because we got to sing that we would root, root, root for the Yankees during the Take Me Out for the Ball Game song. Anyways, at this point, you know, the Yankees were winning. We're like, let's try to, you know, beat the traffic. Look at how busy it is over here, too, in the concourse. And clearly, we were not the only ones with that idea because a lot of people were like, let's get out of here. Let's beat the traffic. Kind of fun story. They were actually fixing this escalator, and we were pretty much first in line to jump onto it once they opened it. But thankfully, nobody got hurt. It actually stalled in the middle of us going down. Anyways, it's fine. We walked the rest of the way down, walked over to the garage, which by the way, I don't know if I said it earlier, but the garage parking was actually about 30 bucks. So definitely cheaper than parking in some of those other places. 
Um, and as you can see, we were able to exit fairly quickly. Um, I think it's because we left so early. And I mean, there is a little bit of traffic as soon as we got out, but this is nothing compared to what it's gonna be like later. I think because we got there earlier too, we were lucky and we didn't have to park all the way up. So actually exiting, we only had one level to go down. Sometimes if you get there a little later, you wind up parking higher up. We made it out. Instead of moving early, the game could change at any moment. Unfortunately, the Yankees lost. In any case, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, and comment for more.